You notice Bill Shankly there having a word with Frank McClintock. And Bertie Mee also there. Bill Shankly all smiles. Well, he's got the cop at that end. Bertie Mee, who with Don Howe has done such a tremendous amount to transform that Arsenal club. Old and young, waiting this moment. The two skippers having a quiet word there, Frank McClintock and Tommy Smith. And as we said last night on our programme, this could be a match that gives us inspired leadership on the field because leading out those two sides, the two skippers, and I doubt if they're any better anywhere. And there can really be no prouder moment for any manager to lead his team out as Bill Shankly and Bertie Mee are doing now. This is the moment. Clements, you caught a sight of him. There's Bob. Charlie George. There's Bob McNabb. Looking perhaps in the crowd for a face that they know will be up there. Peter Storey only passed fit yesterday after he turned an ankle over last Saturday. Oh, and Larry Lloyd has seen his family. We saw them earlier ourselves in our ITV presentation. Six brothers, two sisters, have come up in that minibus from Bristol to see him. Here's Charlie George, only 20. See Ian Callaghan on the far side. And Alec Lindsay, Georgie Armstrong for the Arsenal on the near side. Chris Lawler giving away. Peter Simpson. And the teams, of course, then to be presented to His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent. His Royal Highness coming out. On the left of the picture, the Earl of Harwood, the president of the Football Association. And on the right of the picture, Dr Andrew Stevens, the chairman of Sheffield Wednesday and the chairman of the Football Association. Dennis follows away on the left, the secretary of the FA. Footballer of the Year, presented to His Royal Highness. Frank, who's been here on four different occasions for cup finals, and each time has been a loser. Very relaxed indeed. Bob Wilson. going to get that hair trimmed before this final. I don't think he has.
back with Vindog having a right chat there. I've never known a presentation take quite so long. Peter Simpson, Ray Kennedy, the youngest man on the field at 19. George Graham. And Pat Rice, the Northern Ireland fullback. John Radford. One of these big Arsenal strikers with Ray Kennedy. And Eddie Kelly, the substitute. I can imagine the roar that... Uh, will go up when uh, the Liverpool players are presented. Seems that Frank McClintock is happy to go on chatting all afternoon. Looking very relaxed indeed. Manager Bertie Mee. of Liverpool and Tommy Smith. Ray Clements, the brilliant goalkeeper. Cop surprisingly quiet then. Maybe they're saving themselves for something a little later on. Slawler. His Royal Highness being put, uh, or rather uh, Alec Lindsay being presented to His Royal Highness and Steve Highway, Larry Lloyd. Brian Hall and our experts think that have such an influence in the middle of the field Peter Thompson the substitute there's Ray Clements and Emlyn Hughes already taking off their tracksuit tops. Arsenal have taken theirs off already. And Bill Shankly. It's not easy to prize words out of Bill Shankly at this time. Gets a little bit tensed up, and uh, who can blame him? The managers who have to sit and suffer for 90 minutes, they can't go out and run and kick and do things positive. They can simply hope that all their words and efforts in training will be rewarded. Tremendous character, Bill Shankly. And Norman Burtonshaw, the referee from Great Yarmouth, 45 years old, when he was told of this appointment, he thought people were pulling his leg. Nine years on the league list. And one thing you'll notice today about Norman Burtonshaw, you can't see him there for the moment, one thing you'll notice about Norman, there he is, is how close he keeps to the game. I doubt if there's a fitter referee than this man. And the two linesmen today, Mr. GCQ of Leeds and Mr. J. Bell of Newcastle. It's Mr. Q. As the teams break away, let me just remind you of that competition we're running this afternoon on ITV. Bill Shankly with a little signal to the cop. The competition where you can pit your wits against the panel. What we want you to do is to pick the three leading players from this game in order of merit. The three leading players, the panel will choose theirs. There are five prizes, each worth £20, and I'll give you a phone number that you can ring after the game up till midnight. The three leading players in this cup final that you're just going to see, in order of merit, five prizes each of £20, I'll give you the phone number afterwards, and the winners will be named in our cup final inquest programme tomorrow afternoon at 2. 
so you can watch the game, enjoy our competition, and perhaps win yourself £20. The Arsenal team then, first of all, entirely as expected, with Peter Storey having been past fit to take that number four shirt and such an important role in the middle of the field to destroy and to try and create as well. The substitute, Eddie Kelly, who scored such a vital goal against Stoke last week, substitute once more. The footballer of the year, as we say, the Arsenal skipper, Frank McClintock. Shaw calling up Tommy Smith. We'll show you the Liverpool side in a moment. As two great captains meet, who's going to win this toss? Not that there is very much advantage to be gained. It's almost a still afternoon. And it looks as though he wants them to turn over. Here's the Liverpool side. Again, very much as expected. Perhaps uh, the only minor surprise is that Peter Thompson was substituted. Alan Evans wears the number eight shirt. And as we were saying earlier, that might well mean that he is very much up amongst the strikers, as you would expect. Here's uh, Alan Evans, and the Steve Highway does a lot of useful work down the left wing. Here's Tommy Smith, the Liverpool skipper. Two sides in tremendous form. Liverpool have lost only two of their last 15 games. And Arsenal, in a great run from the semi-finals, have won nine of their last 11. Will it at last be a success for Frank McClintock? Or will it be Liverpool's day? We're going to get a great final as the 1971 Cup final gets away. Liverpool all in red then, defending that goal to our left. Toshak immediately showing his power in the air. But Simpson nodding it away for the Arsenal. And Hughes with a throw. Highway. Happy to get a first touch and then downed in most almost violent manner there by Peter Storey. Really went clattering into Highway there, giving this uh, free kick to Liverpool. And Tommy Smith having a quick word with the referee there, saying, for goodness sake, ref, not too much of that. In the first half minute, Hughes making a break. Tommy Smith, in fact, is going to leave it for Alec Lindsay, presumably to float it. Larry Lloyd's gone right up there. No, he hasn't. Hughes. And across behind that Arsenal goal and a goal kick to Arsenal. Bob Wilson to take it. Has sad memories of his last cup final appearance here in 1969 when uh, Arsenal were beaten by Swindon. But Wilson, who is in great form at the moment, he had a tremendous match on Monday night against uh, Tottenham that clinched the championship for the Arsenal. Stored by the number 10 there, Ray Kennedy. Hughes first to that one. Trying to get Toshak away. McClintock. Beaten there by Toshak. And Rice getting it well, but uh, a whistle has gone again for an unfair challenge on Toshak. And Arsenal cannot get this ball away. McClintock at the heart of it again. And Lindsay once more to take the free kick for Liverpool. This time I imagine he will float one. Lloyd has again gone up for Liverpool, this massive young number five. Toshak at the far side, so dangerous in the air, has called for it as well. But it's over Toshak's head. And he's brought down by McClintock. Arsenal really are beginning to clatter in a bit. That's three free kicks against them, and only one minute and ten seconds of the game gone. Smith now to take this free kick. The Liverpool skipper. Crowd swaying there at the back. Lloyd again right up there and made the run off the back of Armstrong's head. Hall to Callaghan. Little chip forward to look for Evans, but Simpson there with his head. McNabb now to Armstrong. McNabb again. And Kennedy. The front runner who takes so much punishment, leaving Armstrong away. Stopped in his strides by Smith.
Liverpool's throw. Evans taking a slight buffeting there from Peter Simpson. And another three kick for Liverpool, the fourth in the first two minutes. This time uh, Ian Callaghan to take it. Toshek wanting it in the air. Lloyd this time a stayed back. Graham right back to uh, hook it away for the Arsenal. Hughes to pounce on it. Evans. And Hall. There he is in his midfield position straight away. And still Hall going on. Toshak. Really worrying moments these for the Arsenal. Hall almost getting a chance to turn it in. And it's not away yet. Graham taking far too long to get it away. Heart searching moments there for the Arsenal. And now they are away with Kennedy. A good pass by Charlie George. And Kennedy's shot going across that Liverpool goal. Kennedy the only man up. Causing a few northern hearts to flutter. And so Ray Clements with the goal kick now for Liverpool. Not a very good one, Radford in fact trapping it, but uh, that red wall was on him, and Smith back to Clements. Evans. Arsenal back in that middle of the field at the moment, it's uh, George Graham now for them to Bob McNabb. Graham played for Armstrong. Paul Smith looked for a moment as though he might get into trouble, but he got himself out of it beautifully. And a good pass there by the Liverpool captain to Lindsay. Hughes begging for it. No, not Hughes. It's Highway begging for it down the left. Callaghan. And there's Toshak poised at the far side. Rice for the Arsenal. Charlie George. Story. And now Rice. John Radford. Charlie George. Played beautifully there by Charlie George to Armstrong. That's two good passes already by young George. But Smith getting in very quickly again for Liverpool. Evans to Callaghan. Highway. Stopped by Graham. And so now it's George Graham as Arsenal's yellow shirts come forward. Radford. And stopped by Lloyd. Charlie George. Graham again, off the head of Highway, and Storey. Graham. And Clements. Graham. Armstrong. Nab has made uh, one of those runs down the left and Armstrong has found it. Red men though poised all around him for Liverpool. But now George Graham and McClintock making one of his bursts from the back. Kennedy trying to pick it on for him but stopped there nicely by Lloyd for Liverpool. Graham and Liverpool's throw. Armstrong has had ten good seasons at Highbury, but none better than the uh, present one. George Graham claiming it's his ball, and indeed it is, Arsenal's ball. Finding very difficult to get a man free, but now it's Armstrong. In fact, he had a lot of space behind him and wasn't aware of it. But uh, McNabb now, and Storey going in, and Lloyd showing his power in the air once more for Liverpool. But a good break by Peter Storey. 
Here he is going back now towards a defensive position. He'll need to because there's a good pass by Callaghan to Hall. Hall now to Evans and he couldn't hold it. tussle there with Evans but winning it trying to get Kennedy away and Smith perhaps not uh, quite clear how close Kennedy was behind him Arsenal fans claiming that that was a corner off Tommy Smith here but referee Burdenshaw saying no it's a goal kick to Liverpool Toshak, who might uh, cause all sorts of troubles in the air for Arsenal at the back. And Clements with the goal kick. It's Toshak getting up in the air, a beautiful example of it as he sends Evans away. But McNabb, who is fast and sharp. Kennedy trying to flick it on for Radford. Now Highway, to Lindsay. Just on ten minutes gone, no score. And Simpson now for the Arsenal. Lawler. Neither side really quite got into their stride. Perhaps the uh, pace off the turf is a little bit difficult. So many clubs at this time of the year playing on uh, grounds where there's so little grass. Then you come to Wembley where the grass is lush. And it takes just a little time to get used to the pace of the ball off the pitch. To be able to judge those passes to a nicety. McClintock judging that nicely in the air though. And McClintock again. George Graham. All through the legs of Hughes. Story, Graham, and now Rice. And well offside in any case, even though it didn't reach Story. Well offside when that ball was played by George Graham. And so it'll be Lindsay with it. But Clintock struggling to try and get to that ball in the air before Toshak. And Toshak winning it. And now Callaghan. Hughes. And as Malcolm Allison predicted, we have uh, Highway doing a lot of work down that left with Evans very much the orthodox front runner. Hughes. Oh, Hughes made a bit of space for himself there, but not enough power behind that shot. He loves to come forward and can be very dangerous when he gets to the edge of a penalty area. As indeed can Chris Lawler. And there is Lawler getting his head to that one, the number two for Liverpool. Brian Hall. Again, Arsenal very quickly on that uh, Liverpool break. That time it was Simpson on Toshak, the number 10. Callaghan. And Liverpool's throw. Evans making a good break there to uh, help Callaghan. Finding the winger again. winning well but no the linesman was flagging there for a foul by Callaghan on McNabb player that Liverpool once badly wanted when he was a fullback with Huddersfield but he decided he wanted to go to Arsenal Charlie George to George Graham played off a nice first time ball and he looked as though it was going to be for Story that played into the open for Hall. Now Lindsay. Again, Highway calling for it down the left, but trying instead to find Toshak. And McNabb back to Bob Wilson. Hughes. 
and Grail. Who has shouldered off that ball unfairly, though, by Koshak. Already a very intriguing battle in the middle of the field as Hall and Hughes try to create something special for Liverpool. And this fellow here, George Graham, and Charlie George, amongst others, trying to do the same thing for the Arsenal. It's the unspectacular part of it, probably, but that's where this battle could be won and lost, in the middle of the field. Lawler with the throw. There is a tremendous sharpness about Bob McNabb, and as uh, Toshak, the number 10, loitered for no more than a fraction of a second, McNabb was in with his challenge from the back, but taking the ball. So Lawler once more with the throw. Evans trying to come quickly towards him to give himself a moment of space. Charlie George, George Graham, trying perhaps to be a little too sophisticated with Evans so close, but Arsenal in possession until he goes into touch again. So it'll be Tommy Smith wanting Radford back ten yards to take this free kick. And not a very good one. Arsenal's throw. So far a cup final that really hasn't got into its stride. Now Radford. And Norman Burtonshaw close in on everything. Radford doesn't like it, but Norman Burtonshaw, the referee, allowing absolutely nothing to go by. Another strange free kick there by uh, Tommy Smith, but it curled over Kennedy and found Lindsay. Now it's with Highway. Alec Lindsay to Emlyn Hughes. Evans again, trying to lay that ball off and finding as he does so that the Arsenal players are coming in hard to him. And the referee not liking the way that he retaliated, I think, a little bit to that challenge. The free kick to the Arsenal. Here's Charlie George. But it's going to be Frank McClintock to take it. stumbling on until he met Story and Story now finds Kennedy with Story still going on the outside Peter Story then for the Arsenal Rice Highways come back to help that defence but Rice still curling it in and Lawler there first for Liverpool Charlie George Radford and Hall right back there now can Kennedy get in but he can't turn it back Smith having a few words there with Brian Hall and so too was Larry Lloyd almost presenting Kennedy with a chance well that's the closest Arsenal have been to an opening let alone a goal nil nil and Clements with a kick Graham heading it sideways there under pressure and finds McNabb. George Graham again. Oh, and now Hall stepping in quickly and finding Evans. Hall with Callaghan outside him if he wants him. Here's Callaghan now to turn it across first time. Highway leaping for it, and so too is Lloyd. Hughes. And now Charlie George and Lindsay. This will go towards Toshak. And in fact, Toshak was pushing Simpson in the back. The linesman flagging. The referee saying, yes, I noticed it, but Arsenal were in possession. And now Arsenal's throw. Simpson. Played coolly there for Graham. That one gave Story a little chance, in fact, but he made the most of it with his determination. Story again. Kennedy and Graham leaving it to each other, and Kennedy almost getting Graham through. But Lawler slipping for a moment, and as Radford came in, regaining his composure and the ball, 
to get Liverpool out of trouble and find Callaghan. Hughes. Now it's Evans' turn to take a stint down that left touchline. And Highway has switched to the right. Hughes. Lindsay. Evans and Brian Hall. Now perhaps he'll swing it in. Wilson's come for it. But no danger there to the Arsenal. And a goal kick. And so Bob Wilson then to take this goal kick for the Arsenal. Hughes, McClintock, now Radford, Rice gone bursting down the right and it's in fact an Arsenal player getting a bit of attention on the far side, it's like George Graham, and now Callaghan, but Graham on his feet again, back into action as Highway finds Chris Lawler. George Graham. Charlie George. Hits the ball so crisply, but that one was hit crisply to Tommy Smith. And now this tank of a man coming forward for Liverpool. Evans. Toshak. Challenged by McClintock. Or McClintock to Simpson. He couldn't have seen Evans are so close to him. Peter Simpson. And just as we have no score here at Wembley, there's no score in the Scottish Cup final so far after 20 minutes at Hamden Park. Celtic nil, Rangers nil. And here, Arsenal nil, Liverpool nil. The clock very quiet at the moment. And in all honesty, we've had 20 minutes without one real incident without one uh, real moment of danger in the goal mouth. Simpson now for the Arsenal. Toshak doing well to find Hughes. Lloyd. But McNabb rising beautifully to knock that one away from Highway's challenge. And now Radford is off. And Clements is coming a long way out of his goal. Why hacking that one into touch. He spotted that danger in an instant because Radford was through. And Radford now, who thought for a moment that he was free, who is the nearest, here's Clements, who robbed him at the last. Radford, who's the nearest that Arsenal have got to a long throw specialist. Graham, who normally doesn't nod them back, but nods them back over his own head to somebody waiting at the far side. But instead it's a throw now to Liverpool. Chris Lawler with it. Highway. And Hall. But Charlie George in quickly for the Arsenal. To his skipper, Frank McClintock. McNabb. And George. Played a long way back to Bob Wilson. George, who remembers a back pass in that semi-final, I'm quite sure, will haunt him for the rest of his life. But his back pass led to a second stoke goal. A word now from Jimmy Hill. Well, in fact, after that first Liverpool flurry at the open, the opening minutes, when Arsenal had to go away four free kicks, Arsenal are settling down a little now. They're almost cocksure in the way they're strolling around on the ball in the middle of the field. And they have had two breaks, one from Kennedy and one from Bradford, which might have got them a goal. But as Brian says, that's the nearest we've come. Story now, turning that one in. And Hall, probably the smallest player on the field with George Armstrong to get up and get it away. Charlie George. 
And George Graham on the far side. That was cool play, though, by Tommy Smith. The linesman, in any case, had his flag up. Four offside against Graham. But Smith certainly showed his composure there by the way he got in just ahead of Graham and nodded it back so coolly to his goalkeeper. Oh, that went off Radford. And Radford was unfairly harassing this man, Ray Clements. I think indicating that Radford's legs were too high when he tried to clear that one away and Radford saying well it wasn't all that high and Larry Lloyd getting his word in as well and Norman Burtonshaw telling them all to button it so free kick to Liverpool right on the edge of that area Toshak again showing beautiful power in the air and a flick by Callaghan that sends Evans away but again not enough power Good strong challenge by Simpson on Evans, though. He's stuck with him. Graham now for the Arsenal. To McNabb. Arsenal now beginning to settle a little more convincingly into their stride as McNabb now turns it for Armstrong and hard across there. Kennedy getting up, and Story will go in and challenge. And in fact, he took the goalkeeper without the ball. And Liverpool, I think, with some justification, incensed. We can look at that one again, I think. Clement's still in trouble. That really was a strong challenge, though, from Story. Well, there was no question about it in my mind, Brian. As soon as the goalkeeper was seen to be catching the ball, Story knew he couldn't get it, and he went on to hit him. He went on to shoulder charge him, to be fair to him, but on the other hand, I think he put his elbow, shoulder, and everything else. There's Clements, who looks to be injured uh, with that challenge. He was in the air, he was clearly in the air when he did it. There's Bob McNabb. Well, Clements is all right again. Graham doing well in the air there, finding Charlie George. And now John Radford. Smith has gone with him. Oh, and Smith took him after the ball had gone, and Radford hurtled him beautifully to the far side. Story going in, and Lindsay getting ahead there first to put it behind. Great cheers there from the Arsenal fans for a very promising Arsenal move. Stopped at the last by Lindsay. There's McClintock going up for this Arsenal corner and Toshak going back with him. George Armstrong with the corner and a deep one. Oh my goodness, that almost had Clements in trouble, but uh, the referee didn't like the way that Kennedy was challenging Clements. Fine young goalkeeper Ray Clements, who cost them only £18,000 when they bought him from Scunthorpe. Hall. The game warming up now as Hall tries to find Evans, who in fact was standing offside at that point. A good strong challenge, but a fair one by Graham. Rice has made the roof, but the pass wasn't quite read properly. And now Highway. Oh, shouldered off that ball badly by Story. That was another bad challenge by Peter Story, and there can be no doubt about it. He's having a word with George Graham there. So a free kick then to uh, Liverpool. Lindsay to Smith. And now Highway. Lindsay again. Curled in and Lloyd goes up and Evans is there as well. And it's Rice who hooks it away. Radford. Hughes. 
Jesus. Tommy Smith. And Toshek caught well offside by that Arsenal defence. McNabb now. Smith. Lawler. That's a twice he's lost his footing there, Lawler, and that was over for an Arsenal throw. McNabb. To George Armstrong. That little terrier, Brian Hall, though, chasing Armstrong. Here's Hall. Always the sort of man to have in your side because he never stops running. Now Callaghan to Hall once more. Played on again for Callaghan. A nice sweeping Liverpool movement, but stopped in its strides again by McClinton. So now it's Charlie George. Oh, beautiful challenge there by Hall as well. And what a good looking long pass there. But Rice getting on the end of it. Rice to Story. Rice again. Kennedy. Rice. Stopped by Callaghan. And now Lindsay. Clintock using his body to chest that down well and his cool head to turn it inside to find Rice. And now Kennedy. Shook off that challenge from Smith extremely well, the 19-year-old there, and finds George Armstrong. Kennedy again, taking a little too long, but still finding Charlie George. McNabb calling for it over on the left. And now Callaghan for Liverpool. Three against three as Liverpool come forward. Callaghan attacking his man and finding now Tosha. Callaghan again. And Wilson allowing it to go over for the goal kick. got up again well, Lindsay and McClintock to Graham and now to McNabb Lawler and now Smith Liverpool skipper Smith again to Lawler and again Toshak is caught offside loitering just a little bit behind that Arsenal defence and this linesman Mr Bell has caught him both times Graham or oh, McNabb beat by Callaghan Plays it back to Clements. Clintock very positive there, but the ball coming for Toshak. Lindsay. And now Highway. Oh, and my goodness, Toshak was at the far side there. McNabb behind him. And Toshak just couldn't get a foot to it, or it could have been very dangerous indeed for the Arsenal. That's the first time that I've seen a highway flash into it on the wing, and I would have thought that it would have been better employing him with his speed against Arsenal in the centre. I think that's a slight tactical mistake having him out there, and the way the game's going seems to be proving it. Well, there's Lloyd getting up well at the back for Liverpool. Hall now to Hughes, and again highway down that left.
already his socks about his ankles as Hughes puts this one in. Strong change again from McNabb, going with Evans. Smith winning that fierce challenge there, although possibly in the end you could say it was Kennedy who won it because he forced Smith into the error. Armstrong. Born, Liverpool made, Liverpool skipper Tommy Smith joined the club from school. Toshak now to Ian Callaghan. Hughes. A fine competitive match and absolutely nothing to choose between these two sides as we come up to almost within 10 minutes of half time and still no score. Hughes and Lindsay. And again, Simpson there before Highway can make his presence felt. Highway for the moment coming a little bit more into the centre. Radford. Without quite the pace to get away from uh, Lindsay, but the free kick given to the Arsenal. And so tight at the back on uh, both ends of the ground that nobody yet really has created a clear-cut chance. And Rice to take the free kick for the Arsenal. Back to there off Lindsay, and a corner to the Arsenal. Simpson going up for this one, here he is. McClintock and McNabb staying back. Josh got right back as well, there's Highway, and McClintock and McNabb, the only three men in that centre circle everybody else either in that Liverpool penalty area or just outside it. Here's Armstrong's corner. George Graham getting up very well indeed there. Radford trying to get a foot to it. Story just over. <laughs> Scored both Arsenal's goals, of course, Story in the uh, semi-final. Lindsay for Liverpool. And Arsenal defenders came forward very quickly indeed, hoping to catch those uh, Liverpool forwards offside, but the linesman kept his flag down, and Wilson a long, long way outside his penalty area. So highway with the throw for Liverpool. Clintock getting up well, and Highway again. Graham challenging Toshak in the air, but Toshak at the moment beating all comers in the air. And in Glasgow we hear that Celtic have scored in the Scottish Cup final against the Rangers, and now here's George Graham. Stopped though by Larry Lloyd, and Smith to complete the work with a long one forward. given there against Liverpool and so the free kick with Peter Simpson for the Arsenal Toshak winning that one again in the air as McClintock came hard in him at the back but the play going on and with Simpson Radford trying to get Kennedy away but that must go into touch Bernie Mee there, in the front with Don Howe, Bill Shankly there too, the men who really suffer. Evans, Paul, and now Hughes, Highway. Referee. It looked a, not 
too hard a challenge by Storey. It seemed to me that he came away with the ball, but referee Burtonshaw was right on it and had no hesitation whatsoever in giving that free kick to Liverpool. Hughes to take it quickly and find Highway. A little floater, Lawler's right up there, and Lawler getting ahead to it, but Bob Wilson, not under great pressure. Lawler, who always comes in hard for those sort of uh, opportunities. Lloyd winning it in the air. And winning it again in the air. But now Charlie George turning that nicely for George Graham. Walking pace now. The heat, I suppose, as we come towards half-time, beginning to tell. No breeze whatsoever in, that, uh, in the centre there. Very impressive indeed, I would think. Tommy Smith. And McClintock winning that one well in the air. George Graham, a nice little touch off there for Charlie George. And he let that one go! He really does strike those balls beautifully. Well, this was Frank McClintock who made that chance, and there's the power of Charlie George's shot. Short back lift just over the bar, goalkeeper diving up in case, but it was over. George Graham winning that one in the air for the Arsenal. Now Lawler for Liverpool. Callaghan. Tommy Smith. Lindsay. Hall. And Evans trying to sneak in on that one, but uh, comfortably fielded by Wilson. Kennedy again. Story. Aimed towards Radford, who won it in the air, but uh, having won it, found that there was no support. But Rice now for the Arsenal, to Peter Story. Five minutes to go to half-time, plus a little bit of injury time and a good, strong, earthy challenge there from Callaghan and also one from Charlie George, giving Arsenal possession again. Rice, neatly tricking Highway. The fellow who's got real power in his stride is Pat Rice, but not, unfortunately for Arsenal, any power in his shot at the end of it. Simpson. Well, that came off Hughes to Evans. Long raking stride of highway, but again, Bob McNabb was there first. George Graham. Oh, yes, that really had to be penalised. It was a wild challenge by Lawler on Radford. There's Lawler. And there's Radford. And so Arsenal's free kick with Peter Simpson. Lawler. Evans. A bit of space opening up ahead for Alan Evans. And over on the left, Toshak. Liverpool outnumbered something like 7-1 to one as that one comes across. No problem for Wilson. An example of how quickly those Arsenal defenders get back. Hall. Hughes. And now Hall again. Toshak. Lindsay. Evans a little flick and Lindsay following it through and Tommy Smith with a shot. Wilson behind it all the way, but a good effort there from Smith. McClintock again in the air. And now Charlie George to Story. Radford. Armstrong's made a run towards the far side, Armstrong! My goodness, that was close! Armstrong completely undetected 
by that Liverpool defence and by Chris Lawler in particular getting a free header and only a superb reflex save by Clements keeping Liverpool level. Good little bit of work there by Armstrong and a fabulous piece of work by Clements and a shot by Evans over at the other end. A master save by Ray Clements there because he really had no time at all to judge it, blowing out his cheeks in relief from Georgie Armstrong. It was also a very good spot by Peter Storey as uh, Armstrong went in to make that cross. Callaghan a long way back. Lintock, Smith, Callaghan to Highway, Callaghan again, Evans, not having much luck there trying to lay those off Evans with his back to the Arsenal goal, trying to flick it off for Menil coming past him at pace but also coming at him at pace are these Arsenal defenders, Alan Evans who, uh, whose season really was disrupted for a long time with an injury but has added so much power to the Liverpool back since he, uh, attack since he came back. That's behind Bob Wilson's goal, and the problem at the moment, getting the Arsenal wall back ten yards. Reluctant to go, but they'll have to go. Smith standing over the ball. Also close at hand, we have Callaghan. And there's Callaghan playing it off for Lindsay, left-footed. Oh, high save now, can Lawler turn it back? Good way, good work by Wilson. That really was a fine save by Wilson because it was where goalkeepers don't like it. Lindsay's shot, down he went, and in fact followed it out very quickly indeed to put it behind again. Here comes the corner now. Larry Lloyd right up, Radford anxiously watching him. Callaghan with the corner for Liverpool, a deep one. And the whistle goes for half-time before Liverpool, Liverpool can make use of it. No score at half-time, but a good final flurry where Arsenal very nearly went ahead through Armstrong and then Lindsay almost got one through for Liverpool. Lloyd and Armstrong, Armstrong the number seven who very nearly put them through. Some marvellous goalkeeping right at the end there by Ray Clements. Celtic leading by a golden hill up at Hampden Park at half-time. Bobby Lennox the scorer, Tommy Smith the skipper of Liverpool, loosening that shirt in the heat. We shall be back with a panel to give their views on the first half. A rather dour first half that really came sparkling to life in the last five minutes when first Arsenal might have gone ahead and then Liverpool might have gone ahead Brian Hall having a cheery word with the referee as you saw here's Alan Evans and Chris Lawler Steve Highway and Alec Lindsay on the right there the uh, young fullback they bought from Berry who very nearly got one through for Liverpool just before half time The outstanding skipper for Liverpool, Tommy Smith, who came second in the Football Writers Association poll for the Footballer of the Year, behind the Arsenal skipper Frank McClintock. So Arsenal then to get us away at the start of the second half. McNabb to Armstrong, Charlie George, leaving it for George Graham. McNabb seeking out Radford and Lindsay calmly back to his goalkeeper Ray Clements. McNabb and Lawler off Kennedy for Liverpool's throw.
spent so much of that first half trying to get a yard or two away from that Arsenal defence so that he could lay off a ball or two, but uh, didn't succeed too often, and didn't succeed there either. McNabb back to Bob Wilson. Steve Highway, university graduate, one of two in the Liverpool side, Brian Hall is the other one. George Graham. And now Kennedy. Graham again. Trying to tempt and to tease Hughes into a tackle. And then before he can do it, he sweeps it out to Charlie George. George now to Rice. Rice getting past Lindsay now with a chance to cross it and crossing it low, which can often be devastating. But Smith was on the end of that one for Liverpool. Toshek neatly to Highway. Highway just as neatly past Frank McClintock going with that long raking stride of his full of pace but not with the accuracy that they would need it at the end to get past Bob McNabb Simpson McNabb had an outstanding game so far Bob McNabb Smith Peter Simpson George Armstrong, Simpson. Nodding that nicely over the head of Callaghan to find Charlie George. George trying to uh, get Kennedy into space, but Lloyd blocking it and finding Callaghan for Liverpool. Evans away alone on the right. Highway up immediately in front of him, and away on the left was Toshak, too high even for this fellow. It's Callaghan. the champions, the Arsenal fans are saying but can they add the cup now George Graham Evans streaking after him and faced by Lawler that cool full back and now it's uh, Callaghan for Lawler Callaghan again, not given too much of a chance with George Armstrong and Armstrong bundling into him, some dramatic gestures there from referee Burdenshaw. But the free kick to Liverpool, and now it's Lindsay. Hughes. Evans. McNabb to Armstrong. Oh, and there's Radford's made a good run, and Armstrong tried to find him, but it was a fraction behind Radford. There was a lot of space down that left-hand side of the Liverpool defence and Radford was out to exploit it as much as he could but unfortunately for Arsenal, Armstrong's uh, pass wasn't quite as accurate as it needed to be. Shows how strong the sun is with that jockey cap. Toshak again uh, winning it in the air. Story versus Lindsay. Fair old physical collision there, and the ball going off uh, the Arsenal player for Liverpool's throw. And Emlyn Hughes to take it. Evans. Did well there, Evans, and Toshak just floating across the top of Toshak. McNabb. Lloyd getting above everybody in that little ruck, but it's uh, George Graham to George Armstrong. Now can Armstrong make something of it? Well, he's got Smith coming at him, and so it's George Graham's turn. And again, Smith stopping him. Graham fighting back for that ball and winning it. McClintock, and the whistle has gone. Foul against Callaghan on uh, McClintock. Nab, and now Radford. Oh, trying to lift that over Smith's head. He lifts it forward for Kennedy. Oh, what a miss! That was some fine work there as uh, Kennedy applauding his fellow striker Radford. And Kennedy really ought to have made that one count. Here it is again. Radford yeah. doing some superb work. He takes it on his favourite left foot, but he's actually kicked after the ball came. 
what an awful thing to happen to you, 20 years of age, but that's the sort of fate that sometimes befalls a striker. You make them and you miss them. And so it's a corner then with Armstrong for the Arsenal. Graham getting ahead to it, and it comes out again to Armstrong. Now with time to put a nice little cross in. Radford at the far side, getting ahead to it, and Kennedy is in, and so too is Clements. Simpson, having a fair tangle there and keeping his head and getting out of his troubles. Arsenal looking quite lively at the moment as Graham tries a 1-2 with Kennedy, stopped by Lawler. Lindsay. And now Toshe. Stopped by Charlie George. Kennedy to George, oh that was a nice piece of play by the Arsenal and a good piece of defensive work as well by Lloyd. Callaghan now for Liverpool, really competitive now this game. Warming up all the time, Hall to Lindsay. Hall again. Callaghan. Try a little reverse pass there to find Highway, but Arsenal snapped that uh, defence shot. Graham to uh, George Armstrong. Away on the left is Radford. Four Arsenal men up and four Liverpool players back. That's a promising enough situation as you'll ever get. George Graham. All through the legs of Tommy Smith now to George Armstrong. Taking on and beating Lawler. And a corner. Charlie George is down on the ground. And Frank McClintock drawing the attention of the referee to it. And that wasn't the only thing, because we noticed just before that that Peter Storey, the number four, also seemed to be uh, labouring just a little bit as well. And, of course, he only just was past fit yesterday after an ankle injury that had uh, left him a 50-50 doubt right through the week until yesterday. There was a sign of the, the pressure of the match there where Arsenal broke away with four players and there was time for more Liverpool players to chase back and they didn't do it. And it's not often you see these days just four against four, man against man, at a time when the other players could get back. And I think all players are feeling this warm sunny afternoon a little bit, but Arsenal appear to have the greater command of the game and the flair at the moment. I think Story is a worry. The way that he's limping, he's a very tough player, but the way that he's limping must bring about the possibility of Kelly coming on to replace him. That's, of course, providing that Charlie George is all right from that injury there. Well, the trainer, George Wright, has left uh, Charlie George here's story, so it looks as though uh, Charlie George will be all right. And George Armstrong, there's uh, George, and now George Armstrong with the corner. George Graham winning it in the air. McClintock has stayed up there, putting it across there. Story trying to belt it, Smith to bring it away. Toshak, but turning it straight back into the ranks of the Arsenal players, and McClintock finding Armstrong, and a good challenge there by Callaghan. Simpson now for the Arsenal. Oh, and Hughes in reading that a little quicker than Story. Highway now for Liverpool. And Story really does seem to be struggling to keep up. McNabb getting his head to that one. Charlie George and a collision there between Story and Highway. Back with Wilson. valuable balls in the air really hasn't made a great impact on this game for Liverpool so far now it's Callaghan though and Evans always a busy industrious player but beaten there by a combination of McClintock and Simpson George Graham 
Radford, much livelier in the second half Radford than he was in the first, finding George Armstrong. And Radford going on, what a good looking ball, and Lloyd there to cover it for Liverpool. Formerly with Bristol Rovers. And John Radford. Only might try a long one, but uh, George Graham, his ally, who usually stations himself at the near post, wasn't there. So McNabb now. McNabb again. Story to leap for this one and beaten though. And Charlie George to belt it. My goodness, he hit that. There's nobody on this field who hits a sweeter ball than Charlie George, but that was why. But it had tremendous power. Clements really would have been desperately. Uh, Plunging across his goal, had that been a little closer to the uh, to the post there, I suppose it must have been about four or five yards wide. I doubt whether Clemens would have seen it. Rice back to Wilson. And now Bob McNair. Lawler, Evans, the ball's still in play, Lawler again. Toshak, to Hughes, highway over on the left calling for it, and it'll be highway now who gets it. Lindsay coming up to support him, highway finding the right sort of angle to turn one deep towards Toshak, Toshak winning it in the air, and Rice this time to hook it away for Arsenal. Smith challenged by Kennedy. Back with Wilson. Evans. Did talk to cover. and Toshak offside not liking it but Mr Q the linesman from Leeds marginal decision but he was directly in line so it'll be Pat Rice then with the kick Story beaten for a little bit of pace there by Highway. Hughes. Lindsay. And Hughes. Evans holding off Simpson long enough to find Callaghan, but uh, no red shirts to follow that one in. Chris Lawler. Well, Arsenal had a very good flurry in the opening ten minutes of this second half, but uh, slowly but surely Liverpool coming much more back into this game now as the ball is with Toshak. Not too much pace about their approach, though, but uh, keeping possession and looking for every opening. And there's McClintock. And a foul on uh, Kennedy by Larry Lloyd. Radford on the far side of the penalty area, arm aloft, wanting it high in the air. That's just what he's getting, but in fact it's going towards Kennedy and behind for a goal kick. Sweat standing out on men's faces now. The heat must be blistering down there. Toshak, 
And so Liverpool's free kick. And Lindsay with it. Aimed again, inevitably towards Toshak, and this time McClintock to hook it away. Toshak still winning valuable balls in the air, but at the moment nobody up there quite sharp enough to take advantage of it. Radford did very well indeed Radford there Charlie George Kennedy Radford and Radford again good aggressive challenging though by Alan Evans but it's now back with the uh, Graham and now Armstrong down on the left faced by Tommy Smith oh but Arsenal's throw I don't think Tommy Smith could argue about that that clearly was an Arsenal throw and now Charlie George, will he let another one go? Why? And so it'll be Liverpool's kick again. Hall going on outside here. This great little worker. And a deep one that might test Wilson, but it's over the top. Not for a moment though, it was swirling and uh, swerving. And Eddie Kelly is coming on for the Arsenal substitute, and Story is going off. As we predicted some five minutes ago, Kelly comes on, and Peter Story goes off. Now, last week against Stoke, when this happened, Arsenal were going through a bad spell. They couldn't take a grip on things in the middle of the field. Kelly came on straight away and sharpened things up in the middle of the field, and Arsenal must clearly hope that he'll do that sort of thing again. Oh, Radford, that was a nice turn of the ball for him, and he's got Kennedy in the middle for him. Radford going on, but straight into the arms of Clements. Callaghan, well, that'll be stopped by Simpson. George Armstrong, Simpson again. Charlie George, not giving George Graham too much of a chance and a free kick given against George Graham. His foot perhaps was a little too high. And so it's Liverpool's kick. Some ten yards inside that Arsenal half. Smith to Lindsay, killed nicely there by Lindsay. Hughes. Smith. And that'll come for Highway. Charlie George this time. Calmly back to Bob Wilson. The pace clearly beginning to tell on these players now in this great heat. Lloyd winning it in the air. Kelly. Fresh blood on the field for the Arsenal. Rice. Nice looking cross there. Radford was hoping for it. Armstrong, will you get a shot in? Not nearly enough power, though. into the middle of the field, Callaghan and Hall and Hughes. Typical barrier for Arsenal to beat. Although Arsenal at the moment seems slightly to have the upper hand, there are so many good fighters in the middle of the side, and Clements will be tripping over that ball with Radford coming in. Kelly. And 
Graham getting up well, Eddie Kelly again. Young Scott on as a substitute for Story. But highway now. Leaving it for Toshak. Hughes. Lindsay coming up in a bit of space on the left. Watched by Kelly. Oh, Kelly choosing his moment. And it was the right moment. Alan Evans. Played with great determination there and found Lindsay. Hughes, Lawler right up there, and Lawler staying up there, but it's still George Armstrong, and now he finds Radford a bit of space ahead of him. Kennedy is up with him, he's taking on Smith, and he's beaten Smith. Hughes is piling back, and so too is Lloyd, and Tommy Smith back on his feet as well. Now, did that hit his hands? No, it didn't. And in fact, the ball went off Radford in the end. Radford, in fact, claiming to the lines whether that ball hit uh, Hughes's hand. And the throw, in fact, going to Liverpool. The ball coming off Bradford at the last. Tommy Smith to take it. Now Armstrong. Quick thinking by him in a corner. Yeah, we discuss this. It's obvious that John Radford is making his pace tell against Tommy Smith and Larry Lloyd there. There have been a couple of occasions where he's pushed it in front of him and gone like a bolt from the blue for goal. Radford, or rather McClintock, you see, has gone up and it looks as though Peter Thompson is coming on as a substitute for Liverpool and Alan Evans is going off. So Thompson, a player with tremendous flair, a man who can seek out the goals, on as a substitute and Alan Evans off. So both the substitutes on as Armstrong floats this one in, George Graham looks for it with his head. But Lloyd, in fact, got it away. Graham. Turning it on for Kelly. George Graham. And Kelly again. Stopped by Lindsay, but it's Arsenal's throw. Thompson on the wing now, Highway has gone into the uh, central striking position. Kelly getting that across, but Callaghan there. Oh, off the back of Hall, but Hughes was behind him. Simpson, McClintock, and Rice to the safe way out. Barry Lloyd, Simpson winning it in the air, Callaghan now. Peter Thompson, his first touch of the ball, away goes the Liverpool substitute. But the cross is there for Toshak, turned back now, oh and a fine clearance by Simpson there for the Arsenal. Hughes now looks as though he's taken a knock, but the play going on. But a marvellous first break into the game here by Peter Thompson. A winger underrated by so many people. A player who uh, has given, uh, or been given one or two chances for England and has never really uh, quite shown his true form when he's put on an England shirt. There's his Liverpool shirt, Liverpool FC Cup Final 1971 on the badge. Liverpool will look anxiously at uh, Emlyn Hughes on the ground with their substitute already on. Bob Paisley, the uh, Liverpool trainer. See the sweat of effort there on John Radford's face. His hair matted. Under that burning sun out there at Wembley and scarcely a breath of air in the place. And Alec Lindsay. Well, Hughes is a long time getting to his feet. Well, Hughes.
Hughes is back on his feet now. There's Larry Lloyd and Ray Kennedy. But Hughes all right again. And Eddie Kelly to take the throw for the Arsenal. And another one. Lindsay in very sharply and swiftly for Liverpool. Peter Thompson. Lloyd. Smith. And Callaghan. Thompson. Highway away on the left again. Here's Highway. Toshak lurking at the far side. That's a danger sign for the Arsenal. And here's Lindsay. In fact, he had to snatch at it very quickly because Charlie George was coming hard at him. One good shot by Lindsay, of course, just before half-time that Wilson did very well to save. Lloyd, winning it in the air. Hughes, and still highway down this left touch line. Thompson's gone into the middle, begging for the ball. Toshek on the far side. Callaghan up in support as well for the short one. And, of course, Chris Lawler. Lawler to Hughes. Thompson now on that orthodox left-wing position. Teasing Pat Rice, trying to turn inside. Lindsay onto that favourite left foot. Toshak again, getting it in the air. Lloyd and McNabb. Then on the bench there, you just uh, there's Don Howe on the left there, urging more effort out of these Arsenal players. There's Toshak once more in the air though, and again in the air. And Kelly. Bill Shankly on his feet, that you probably saw in the background there. Shankly on the right of the picture. Oh, and there's a good little bit of play there, but the linesman was flagging as he being pulled back. What a pity for Liverpool. Ryan Hall sneaking past a strong Arsenal challenger. Bill Shankly contemplating if only he'd been allowed to go on into that space. Bob Matthews and the referee there. Peter Storey, the Arsenal uh, man who's off the field, Bertie Mee and Don Howe, and here's the free kick from Tommy Smith for Liverpool. George Graham to get ahead to it. Kennedy to Charlie George. Swung towards the left, and there's Kelly and Radford here. Kelly. Radford. And a first-time cross there. Kennedy turning it down! Met that very nicely indeed, was always leading his defender by half a yard. Well, here we see again John Radford. This time, I think he found himself against Hughes and didn't want to take him on. And there's the quick cross, good, good shot there with Kennedy's right foot, a little push trap kind of shot, but just wide of the post. Rice. Once more, Radford on the touchline. And Rice, the fullback, has gone on. Challenge there by Hughes. And Hughes winning that challenge as he sends Rice tumbling to the floor with a perfectly fair challenge, says the referee, and finds Peter Thompson. George getting in quickly on Thompson as well. And the ball went off Thompson last of all. Kelly with the throw. And Kelly with a chance, no, Armstrong to take this Arsenal throw. Kennedy, Armstrong. The fittest and the bravest side are now going to win this one. Yes, it went over, the referee was right there. The lines were probably shielded by the bulky figure of Ray Kennedy, but uh, Norman Burtonshaw, who's refereed this game superbly, and he's been never more than... Five or ten yards from the ball, it seems, at any one moment. Was there, in fact, to do the linesman's job. Radford again. 
Good deep floating cross by Radford. McClintock's gone up and so too has Graham. And there must have been a bit of pushing there. And the free kick, in fact, given to Liverpool. One thing we have seen today is two superb goalkeepers. Uh, every time I see Ray Clements, I must have seen him half a dozen times. And he's, he's played wonderfully well on each occasion. And, of course, Bob Wilson also in superb form. Not a very good kick there, though, by Clements, but Lawler was there to make something of it for him. Kelly and Simpson. And away on the left, Armstrong, but he's got Tommy Smith uh, confronting him. Arsenal's throw. We're into the last quarter of an hour. And George Graham with the throw. Kennedy. Armstrong to Kennedy. George Graham, McNabb joining in. Good flowing little movement there by the Arsenal. And the ball finally going off. Tommy Smith for the corner. Simpson's gone up again. Here's Clements, supported by his number three, Alec Lindsay. And at the other post, you have... Uh, Chris Lawler, here's Armstrong with the corner, another floater. Simpson right up there, so too was Graham. Kennedy struggling to get to it first. And a throw given to uh, Arsenal. A little surprising there, I thought that came off Kennedy. But it's Radford to take it. To summon up an effort for a long one. George Graham will try and flick it on! My goodness, he almost got in there! And flicked away, finally, with the skipper doing a skipper's job, the number four, Tommy Smith. Well, let's look at it again now and watch how high Graham gets up there. Tremendous jump and the left-handed save there, a reflex save of Clements. And now, well, and now the corner. Oh, and almost, and almost there again by Graham. And Liverpool in terrible trouble until Larry Lloyd finally gets it away from Graham's header. And now Thompson to Hughes, pounding away. Highway over on the far side, covered by McClintock. Highway versus McClintock. And Highway turning it back, and Wilson there. Off the foot of Bob McNair. Armstrong finding Graham in a bit of space. It's Arsenal at the moment who are making the real chances. And Smith pumping that one into touch. So there we are with 11 minutes to go. No score. Arsenal nil, Liverpool nil. Brian Hall. We're getting to the moment that I remember... Malcolm Allison referred to a couple of years ago, the last ten minutes, the period of fear when men are so desperately afraid of making a mistake because there may not be enough time to put it right. Here's highway for Liverpool. And Wilson, oh, he didn't get that one the first time, but he did the second time. And now as their limbs begin to ache and the heat begins to tell its story, mistakes are always possible. Kelly now, the number 12 for Arsenal. Radford. Kelly's gone forward and looked for a moment into an offside position, but he came back in time. And Lawler versus Armstrong with the Liverpool man winning. Finding his skipper, Tommy Smith. And Rice. George Graham, so close with a header a moment ago. Larry Lloyd. Graham deflecting that one to Rice. Simpson a long one forward. Radford jumping willingly for it, but uh, found that Armstrong couldn't come up quickly enough. And so it's hauled a highway for Liverpool. Lawler, Hall, Peter Thompson, 
Good cross there, and Wilson gathering it well for Arsenal. George Graham now. Frank McClintock. Straight to Callaghan. Finding Lloyd. Smith. Simpson now for Arsenal. George Armstrong. Charlie George. Beautifully hit pass there by George. Short back lift, but found all the uh, space he wanted. Beautifully accurate. And now Kennedy. And the whistle had gone. Of the young players or inexperienced players in this match, I think probably Charlie George has had the best game of any of them. Stevie Highway he can be a BA, it doesn't matter, you still get Wembley nerves, and he hasn't been taking players on as he can in that game. It's notable that Peter Thompson came on and immediately started to take on fullbacks and make space. Now George Graham. Radford's made a great run for him, but the pass wasn't quite where Radford wanted it, and it gives Lindsay his chance. And Arsenal the throw. Now from the last throw for this sort of position, Arsenal came desperately close to scoring with a long one towards George Graham. McClintock's going up for it as well. They almost treat these as corners. And Graham once more is there in the thick of it in that Liverpool penalty area. There's his throw again. And McClintock going in, or rather uh, Armstrong going in. But a push by Armstrong on Tommy Smith. And Liverpool's free kick. <laughs> Peter Thompson now for Liverpool. Teasing and taunting Russ. And getting his shot in, but doing just as Jimmy Hill did a moment ago, showing that he's prepared to have Which is a lesson that uh, Highway could learn. And there's a Liverpool player down, Emlyn Hughes, I would think with cramp. He's obviously in a fair bit of trouble there. Do you think it must be cramp, Jimmy? Yes, I do, and it, uh, if it does go to extra time, he was one of the men that I was expecting to last. Right, now it's Armstrong as Arsenal comes sweeping forward again. Hughes back on his feet, Kennedy at the far side, turning it back now for George Graham to try and blister one in. But again, straight into the arms of the beautifully positioned Clements. Liverpool bench there, Bill Shankly on the left of the picture. Anxious moments for all those people on the bench now. McClintock, and now Callaghan, pumped forward, Highway will go after it, and Simpson is there for the Arsenal. Hall challenging beautifully for everything still, and there's a man prepared to take on his fullback with a shot just over. John Howe suffering as well, and Bertie Mee. And a good piece of play there by Brian Hall. Lloyd winning it again. Hall once more through the legs of George Graham, but McNabb sliding into it. Now Lawler. Thompson crying for the ball and getting it over on the right. Lawler. Toshak again waiting patiently at the far side again, winning it in the air. And Kelly doing very well for the Arsenal because Thompson was going in fast. Smith. Switch to the left to Highway. Lindsay, and off George Armstrong for a throw. It'll be highway.
way to take the throw for Liverpool. Quite a long one, and Toshak is there as well. It almost caught Arsenal out, and Kelly gets it away. As far as George, Bradford. He was in two minds about whether to uh, play it inside to McClintock, who... Uh, was going hard forward and was caught in two hours. And we hear from Hampden Park that Rangers have equalised now. Celtic won, Rangers won. Simpsons free kick forward, Bradford trying to make something of it. And Kennedy, he's all right, he's onside. Oh, just past that post. Fiercely hit and shot there, hit shot, and he really was just a yard or so all right. The linesman keeping his flag down directly in line. Now into the last three minutes of the game and still no score. Toshak waiting for this uh, goal kick from Clements. And it'll go towards Toshak. Flicking off the top of his head. Highway. McNabb getting it for the Arsenal. Kelly. George Graham. Beaten though by Lindsay. Getting to show which players are beginning to fade just a little bit. And Lindsay isn't one of them as he's coming forward still. Callaghan. A deep cross and Toshak waiting once more. And Wilson again getting that at the second attempt. Lloyd, a nod sideways for Hughes, who seems to have recovered from that touch of cramp. Simpson, or rather uh, Thompson. And now Brian Hall. A deep cross, but this time too deep for Toshak, who'd come in from that far post. Under two minutes to go, and facing these two sides then, will be 30 punishing minutes of extra time. Radford still winning him in the air, but Liverpool in possession with Larry Lloyd. Thompson in isolation on this left touchline. Rice trying to force him out all the time, and I think Thompson would like to drink inside. Now he's found uh, Hughes. Hall. Callaghan. And Toshak is right up there too, but uh, couldn't get any power behind that header. Or quite high enough to direct it. Here's Shankly again. Reuben Bennett, Bob Paisley. The men behind Liverpool. George Armstrong to Bob McNabb, Armstrong again. We're in the last minute of the game, plus what injury time there would be. Wouldn't be too much of it. George Graham. So a strike now really would be a decisive strike, and here's George Graham bringing it up for the Arsenal. Kelly. Simpson. Uh, Lindsay to nodding away. Now Kelly again. Radford, but Lindsay wouldn't let him get his shot in, and Thompson turning it first time now towards Toshak, but he alone is up front, highway on the far side, as we go into injury time at the end of the game. Peter Thompson, still highway waiting over on the right, here he is. Thompson still, Lawler's gone up into a dangerous position up in that Arsenal penalty area, and there's time now for highway to cross it. And time, too, for Wilson to catch it. Highway again. Last little flurry from Liverpool. Still no score. And three quarters of a minute of injury time play. Lawler. Callaghan using up 
the last reserves of energy to try and keep that one in and fail to do it. Kelly's throw. And now Rice. And now it'll be Liverpool's throw. I noticed even the referee was mopping his brow there. He must be feeling it as well. Toshak turning it inside for Callaghan. A good swift break here by Liverpool. Toshak on the floor. Highway. And straight to Kelly. Toshak is still down. Arsenal to bring it away through George Graham. We've now played nearly two minutes of injury time. Inside for Kelly. He's got Charlie George inside him. But George won't have time to get his shot in, I think. Well, he put it straight to highway in any case. And now Tommy Smith takes up the running for Liverpool. The two captains facing each other now. Toshak, who's got himself to his feet. And a corner to Liverpool, but I doubt very much if they'll have time to take it. The referee's been looking hard at that watch, and we've had two and a half minutes of injury time already. Frantic whistling from the Arsenal supporters. At this moment, they'll settle for a, another half an hour of extra time. Lloyd right up there. Radford back with him. Again, the referee looks at his whistle. Or rather, at his watch. <laughs> That's the way it gets us up here as well. But Callaghan with the corner. And it's Radford who gets it away. Hall who tries to get in there. And Wilson who grabs it from under his crossbar. Over three minutes now of injury time. Emlyn Hughes. McNabb in there. And Rice. And there goes the whistle for the end of 90 minutes. And now the players will rest themselves for a couple of minutes, get fresh instructions. There's Norman Burton. You'll hear the managers coming out. And then they'll face another 15 minutes each way. Well, there is Stevie Highway on the on the floor, and of course, uh, getting some massage from Ronnie Yates. In fact, yes, it is Ronnie Yates here. The old, this shows the spirit of Liverpool. Players that are in the reserves now, great names from the past, doing everything they can to help them win today. But Stevie Highway has been a disappointment. But one can understand it. First season of football, I think if he has been suspect at all, it's been with lack of stamina during the season. And Bill Shankly has very carefully rested him. And I think the occasion has been a little much for him today in that he hasn't really reproduced his normal game. And that's a tragedy, I think, for the spectators and for us because he's such an exciting player to watch when he's in full flow. So what would you say to them now to whip them up for this one big effort that they've got to produce, Jimmy? Well, I think Liverpool's best chance is, is the way in which they're doing it. They're, they're attempting coming back into the game there. There's Tommy Lawrence doing his share of massaging as well. All, all hands on deck at this stage of the game. And there's Eddie Kelly, Don Howe, expecting him, I think, because he's fresher than the others, to take a grip in midfield. Get hold of it, dominate, play the game as you can, because I think Eddie Kelly has been, I think, a little bit um, you know, here and there in the game. And now what's going to Don Hoon down there? To the captain, Frank McClintock. Keep going, Frank. I know the limbs must be aching. Keep at it. Don't worry about the goal that you've missed. Just keep trying. That's Ray Kennedy there, driving them on. People who talk about this man now as the best coach in the world. Um, walking round, you wonder what you can do, what you can say to them that's going to make a difference, because... You can say it, but it's hard to do. Bob Wilson, what can you say to a man who's had a superb game and who's reached perfection? Just carry on doing that. And now, Bill Shankly, trying to find the phrase, the little bit of Scottish humour, the little bit of drive, that's going to make all the difference. We can just come down there and see who he's talking to. There it is, Toshak. Ignore that injury, I know it hurts, but we haven't got anybody else to put on 
just keep going. That's the sort of thing that a manager has to do. I think they're as hot as the players at the moment. And there's Bob McNabb, our old colleague, still showing his teeth and that lovely curly hair, but Bertie hasn't got anything to say to him, except keep going, Bob, you're doing very well. One or two players are feeling it. I think Toshak, from that uh, tumble that he took there on his ankle, I think he's going to feel the pace a little bit. Um, Hughes surprisingly went down with camp. And there's Norman Bertenshaw. 45 years old. Feeling the pace also, but I think has had a very commendable game for a referee. And if history is going to be made, and Arsenal are going to do the double, at least it's got to wait another 30 minutes.